how to beat Super Mario 3D World with friends. Tips and tricks from the Game Masters at the Backloggery. The dream world of Subcon is under attack once again, this time by Bowser, Sorcerer, King of the Koopa. Bowser has captured the citizens of Subcon and is using their magical energy to create his very own evil theme park, Bowser World. This adventure will not be easy, so we recommend bringing along up to three of your friends for four-player mayhem in the thrilling 3D world of Subcon. Multitap sold separately, 3D glasses not required. Will you cooperate with your friends to save Subcom once again? Or will you compete to become the top cat? This video cassette guide focuses on how you and your companions can work together and what to watch out for when playing with mischievous friends. If you've played Super Mario Bros. 2, you'll be familiar with the character's abilities. Mario's speed and jumps are average. Luigi's movement is loose, but he jumps very high. Toad is the fastest, but he has the shortest jump. Princess Toadstool cannot run very quickly, but her float jump gives her the edge in many scenarios. Your journey begins in Subcon's Grass World. Grab a cat shroom and you can become a cat. Players who are cats can climb walls. Make sure that you and your friends understand how this works before moving on. And don't worry, these cats are okay in the water. If you collect more power-up items than there are players, the extra items are stored in the Minus World. Press the Minus button on your gamepad to take an item out of the Minus World. The Fire Flower is a familiar power-up item, but not everyone needs to take it. Mario and Toad decided that they'd rather be cats. Diverse specialization can be the key to success. Good thing Cat Mario was on the team to sniff out this secret exit. How well does your team coordinate? Check out this dino water slide to find out. All players must work together to control the dragon's movements and make it to the end. This team could be more organized in their plan of attack against the Bowser Mobile. Keep your cool and spread out so that you don't miss your chance to return a soccer ball. You're well on your way to saving Subcom. Good job. But the going gets tougher from here on. Welcome to Desert World. Be sure that whoever grabs a potted piranha plant is someone you can trust. Piranha plants have a mind of their own and won't play nice with other players. They can eat other piranha plants, fuzzies, and more. They can even eat fireballs. Only player one has the power to move these touch boards. If player one is unfamiliar with touch controls, this could prove challenging. You might consider trading controllers with another player for this level. Here's an important tip to always remember when playing with friends. You can use a magic spell to create a bubble around your character and then float over to the other players. This happens automatically if you fall too far behind, or you can cast the bubble spell manually to protect yourself by pressing the bubble button. Cherries are quite different from how they were in Super Mario Bros. 2. In Super Mario 3D World, they actually duplicate your character. Keeping your doubles alive can be a challenge but check out how much firepower you can have with four friends and your clones on your side. On Bowser's Doom Tank, you can get powered up with a cannon head. These automatically shoot explosive gumballs. They're very powerful, but beware of friendly fire. In this group, Princess Toadstool is demonstrating how dangerous this power-up can be when playing with friends. Icing World is the land of frosty sweets and exciting new power-ups. In level 3-1, you find a hidden propeller head, which lets you fly way up high into the sky, much like the propeller caps in Super Mario Bros. 6. The Super Leaf from Super Mario Bros. 3 now turns you into a raccoon without the need for a tanuki suit, but its flying capabilities are much more limited. Curibo's Ice Skate is a fun upgrade over the familiar Curibo shoe and it can even skate over snow. But be careful, you'll lose it if you crash into a wall. More players can often make the situation more tricky. Carefully coordinate your movements on directional rail lifts so that they don't send you rolling in the wrong direction when your friends jump off. Boom Ninja sends out clones of herself. With multiple players, you have the advantage. 
You can spread out and more quickly jump on the real one who wears the green bow. After you defeat the first boldy rock in Rock World, three more boldy rocks will dig up out of the ground. Solo players might have a tough time here, but watch how quickly a team can work together to end the fight. It's easy for players to fall behind when these musically timed blocks appear and disappear. Cast the bubble spell if you need it. Be sure to discuss your strategy with any offbeat friends before moving forward. If they jump the gun, well, watch what happens. Some jumping board monsters might leave behind a jumping board that you can carry and jump off of. This offers some exciting possibilities for multiple players, but you'll have to be careful. These players surely wish that they had held onto that jumping board. Get ready for even more exciting new power-ups in Water World. Grab a boomerang flower to wear a Boomerang Brothers suit. Learn how it works differently from throwing fireballs. Watch out! Luigi is spinning around in a gold coin shell. And look, Princess Toadstool has become a Goomba. Oh no! Don't worry, this power-up is just for fun, but make sure your friends don't stop you. In this level, it's a race to collect green stars before time is up. If you were playing alone, you would need to rely on cherry clones to move these platforms. But if you cooperate with your friends, you can move them together. Can you and your friends perform in the circus together? It's not easy to balance on the rainbow boards with a party of four. If your team is struggling, cast the bubble spell and follow your friend with the best acrobatic skills. Whoa! Grab a Mega Mushroom to become Mega Mario, Mega Luigi, Mega Toad, or Mega Princess Toadstool. Stomp everything in your path while the effect lasts. It's easy for you and your friends to get caught up being the king of the pride in this sprawling savanna. But be careful to not run out of time. Pounce the glowing green rabbit for a green star and move on quickly. Water World really tests you and your friends' coordination and teamwork. The red and blue jumper flippers flip whenever any player jumps. Be careful to not jump needlessly or else you'll send your friends to their doom. Whenever possible, walk diagonally between same colored jumper flippers to minimize jumping. The driftwood between wrecked doom ships will rock with your weight. Stay calm and don't let your friends knock you off balance. If Princess Toadstool is the only one walking on the platforms, she will have the advantage in safely navigating this doomship graveyard. Be sure your team gets cat shrooms in the poisonous cloud swamp. The upper path is the cat's meow. Having at least one cat on the upper path will help you discover all of this level's secrets. Prince Bully stands no chance against a barrage of attacks from multiple players. He can be knocked back into the vacuum pipes before he has a chance to do anything. There are a few opportunities to get hidden green stars using jumper flippers. In this example, the team leader decided to be the only player who jumps during this sequence. In this mad dash level, Toad will always be the fastest. If you have a pro Toad player on your team like the one shown here, consider having other players cast the bubble spell while Toad leads everyone to victory. When the poison begins filling the glass tower from the ceiling, Toad is once again your team's first class ticket to safety. During the second battle against the Bowser Mobile, it's much more difficult to spread out your team. It's a real challenge to stay alive and even tougher to finish the battle in time. Keep your cool, but keep an eye on the clock too. Remember, the clock does not stop after a boss is defeated. Have you found any starmen throughout the game? Just like in previous Super Mario Bros. games, they make you invincible for a short time. If you're playing with friends, tag your friends after collecting a starman to give them the power of invincibility too. But be careful. Sometimes the game creators put starmen in areas where going too fast could be dangerous. Watch how our professional Super Mario 3D World team quickly tackles this situation on an invisible bridge with twisted paths. 
Who are you gonna call in the Bowser World ghost house? This headlamp head is so bright that not only will Boo Diddley shy away when you look at them, they'll be busted outright. How is a team of four supposed to stay alive on the rolling Grumblumps? Stick together and watch the lava path to predict the Grumblumps next turn. Try not to jump and walk over the edge as it rolls over. Is your team ready for the final showdown? It might take more than nine lives to make it to Bowser World Tower and then to the top. Now the cat's out of the bag. Bowser's final form is King Meowser. He's scaling the tower after that fat cat. King Meowser will dash up the building next to you and slide down from up above you. Keep moving, but watch out. Bowser not only has cat shrooms, but also his own stash of cherries. There's more than one cat to skin in this battle. The King Meowsers will climb up the building just as before, as well as break through the walls and swipe at you. Each King Meowser appears in the same place every time. So if you fail the fight once, have your player with the best memorization skills guide you through on the second attempt. At the top, hit the POW block three times to catapult King Meowser into oblivion. You've done it! You and your friends have saved the world of Subcon once again. Do you think you're now ready for the secret special world? If you're good, you might even find the rival princess, Rosalina. Thank you for watching How to Beat Super Mario 3D World with Friends, presented by the Game Masters at the Backloggery. Be sure to tell all your friends about the How to Beat Video Cassette Guide series when they ask where you learned all your hot tips and tricks. See you next time.